It's a very exciting time for research at Temple University. Almost every day we have another headline about either a large grant that's come in or a new discovery or a company that's about to form. Temple University has faculty from a diverse array of fields who are pursuing scholarship and funded research in all kinds of really interesting areas like genomics, examining environmental issues, and even more importantly, environment and health issues. We're also looking at the kinds of challenges that urban society brings to bear on individuals and what we can do as researchers to answer some of those questions. The Board of Trustees made a visionary choice when they decided to create a technology commercialization fund in 2012. And this has allowed us to utilize those dollars as a catalyst for creating a continuum of research activity that begins with the training of our students and now extends to translational effects. Technology transfer thrives from an active research engine. What that means is the more fuel that you have from a research perspective, uh, the more opportunity that you have to create innovations that can impact lives. We have a wide variety of technologies moving through the commercialization system, and that ranges from therapeutics, medical technology, including medical devices, healthcare information technology, as well as food technology and even legal technology. And really what that represents is uh, about 15 schools and colleges at Temple University that have associated commercialization programs uh, that are contributing to that wide variety of technology that's moving through the process. Recently, Philadelphia was ranked number three in terms of startup culture by 1776, an incubator operation, and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. And that ranking essentially says that we have risen to the level where the nation and, and the world is starting to see Philadelphia as a home to startups. Every great innovation city has at least two major research institutions, and so we're lucky to have Temple uh, leading the way here. Temple University was recently designated as a Research One institution, meaning that we have achieved the distinction of being one of the top 115 universities in the country for research excellence. What makes that such a remarkable achievement is that it means that research is at the core of most of the activities that faculty are involved in. We have people here who are at Temple because they care about this institution and its place in this city and because they care about our students. And so they're here to make sure that the work they do is not just for the benefit of people out in the world, but also to change the world here on North Broad Street. So one of the most exciting things that we can do coming out of a laboratory investigator's work is being able to translate that from the basic work to something that actually has some impact on how we treat patients. Kamel Kalili has been an investigator in the field of HIV research for, for many years. His work on neuro-AIDS has really been some of the most important work that's been done in the current work, looking at potentially being able to literally remove the HIV virus from cells is particularly important and he's already demonstrated that then in this particular case with excision they've been able to attract a significant amount of investor interest to actually take this work and put it into a clinical trial which is incredibly exciting. One of the hottest areas in life sciences is, is CRISPR technology and so Dr. Clearly's work in that area aimed at first uh, HIV and the eradication of AIDS is a great entry point for Temple and the rest of uh, the researchers at, at uh, Temple University to find a way into the marketplace. And he knows that his technology not only can apply to HIV, but to other bio threats like Ebola, herpes, HCV. So it's just the tip of the iceberg. So Marla has more patents to her name than any active investigator here. And she's been particularly interested uh, in surfactant in the lung, which is that material that basically allows the alveoli to remain open, if you will, as opposed to collapsing. And, and those discoveries, in fact, have led to some significant therapeutic advances. 
for Marla to have done this not once, but multiple times successfully, to have brought an invention out into the market that's actually saved someone's life. These are remarkable achievements, but all too often at the university, we don't recognize them because they're sort of beyond the forms of recognition that are the typical ones, like a publication or like a grant award. This is one of the reasons why the Tech Commercialization Fund has been so important for the university. It brings together our community in a very holistic way. We have a board that has recognized the importance of commercialization as a cornerstone of our funded research portfolio. We have faculty members who have now developed two different tracks of work, one being the research that they do in their labs. They're also developing a line of activity that takes that work and brings it forward into an economic development format. For a board of trustees to be as visionary as the Temple University has today, particularly leadership of Lou Gould, uh, in championing the $50 million investment by Temple University to become a leader in research. That speaks volumes for the priorities of the university. Moving forward, uh, I think we're going to have our startup portfolio continue to hit significant milestones. We are going to continue to build the community and ecosystem around that activity uh, to be supportive of faculty innovation and all of the people that come together to make innovation happen. There's no doubt in my mind that Temple is going to continue to be the kind of place that wants to hire and recruit and retain outstanding research faculty. This is what academic institutions do. We do other things as well, but clearly it is important for Temple University to be one of the outstanding research institutions in this country. What I hope the board understands is that in creating the resources for the commercialization program, They've really helped us to build a true research community that breaks some of that isolation for our faculty. And that enables them to work in much closer alignment with the needs of their students and a parallel set of needs for society. I think that distinguishes Temple University. I think it's what makes Temple such a great institution that we really care about connecting those dots. And I think it's why this particular investment was so visionary.